New Zealand team for the 1948 Olympic Games to be held in London is leaving Auckland by the Port Hobart. The team was selected after trials had been held and performances were compared with overseas records. With only seven members, one of whom's already in England, it'll be one of the smallest teams at the Games, but it's well up to world standard. Mr Dave Woodfield of Wellington was appointed manager of the team and Mrs Ingram of Dunedin is with the party as chaperone for Miss Nairi Lane. Miss Lane will be representing New Zealand in the 100 metres backstroke swimming. In training for the trip, Nairi Lane did several hours swimming a day in the Dunedin Baths. In 1940, she was New Zealand junior freestyle champion, but later specialised in backstroke and is the present New Zealand title holder. Powerful and stylish swimmer, Nairi Lane holds the present New Zealand record of 72 seconds for the 100 yards backstroke. Competing in Australia last season, she won several titles, and against the best from overseas, Miss Lane should turn in even better performances. Good luck, Nairi. Also from Dunedin is Harold Nelson, 24-year-old school teacher who will be competing in the athletics. Nelson holds the present New Zealand titles for the one, three and six mile track races and in the New South Wales Championships at Sydney last year, he won the three mile title against Australia's best distance men. He concentrated on the six mile on return to New Zealand and that won him selection for the games where he will contest the 5,000 and 10,000 metre track races. Although of slight build, Nelson has a long stride and great staying power. New Zealand has always produced good distance runners and Harold Nelson is one of our best. 23-year-old Nick Carter of Nelson earned nomination for the team when he won the 100 miles Olympic trial road cycle race. A carpenter in private life, Carter is the present New Zealand amateur cycling champion and he's taking two New Zealand built racing bikes to England with him. Carter holds many New Zealand road records and has also won several track championships. His performances last season ranked him equal to the best in the empire. Nick Carter's chances look good. Youngest member of the team is 20-year-old Bob Goslin of Wellington, New Zealand amateur bantamweight boxing champion. In the Wellington City Mission Gym, where Goslin did most of his boxing, his trainer George Lovett gets him ready for a round with one of his club mates. Goslin has been boxing since he was 13, when he won the Wellington Junior Bantam title. During the war, at the age of 15, Goslin beat the American Golden Gloves champion, who was then a seasoned fighter 12 years older than Goslin. An all-round athlete, Goslin also won the Wellington Bantam Wrestling Championship last year and plays a good game of soccer and table tennis. Goslin is an all-round fighter with no weakness that anyone in New Zealand has been able to find. His best punch is his right, with which he's scored all his knockouts, 15 in 27 contests. At the 1928 Olympic Games at Amsterdam, Ted Morgan of Wellington won the welterweight title, and Bob Goslin's form gives him a great chance of collecting another boxing title for New Zealand. Also a bantamweight is Morris Crow of Taranaki, at five foot one and a half, the smallest member of the team. Crow's specialty is weightlifting. He is the present New Zealand amateur bantam weightlifting champion with performances in the three Olympic lifts that closely approach the world's record and Crow's figures are improving all the time. First of the three Olympic lifts is the military press in which Crow has lifted 181 pounds. One more for luck. Second Olympic lift is the snatch. Crow has reached 181 pounds in training. 
Morris Crowe is the first New Zealander to lift double his own body weight. In the third of the Olympic lifts, the clean and jerk, Crowe, who weighs 118 and a half pounds, has lifted 242 and a half. To disprove the popular belief that weightlifters are muscle bound, Crowe finishes up with a round of gymnastics. Morris Crow is on top line for the big job ahead of him. From the shortest to the tallest of the team, six foot two and a half John Holland of Auckland, who is competing in the athletics. Holland is the New Zealand 440 yards hurdle champion at the age of 21. His long legs make it look easy, but the 440 hurdles is one of the toughest events at the games. Holland's style and pace gave him the present New Zealand record of 53.8 seconds. He is expected to improve his time considerably and give a good account of himself when he meets overseas competition. Doug Harris of Auckland, on the left, is the seventh member of the team. Harris is already in England, but in an attack on the world's half-mile record at Wellington last year, he showed that he's New Zealand's outstanding middle-distance runner. A strong wind robbed Harris of the record this day, but on another occasion he beat the visiting American Johnny Fulton, one of the United States Olympic hopes, and came within one-tenth of a second of the world's record. Harris's speed, style and clever tactics earned him recognition from many countries as the best half-miler in the world last year. At the Games, Harris will be competing in the 800 and 400 metres and may have the best chance of any of the New Zealand team. In England, Harris has had advice and training from previous New Zealand Olympic winners, Jack Lovelock and Dr Pottet. Doug Harris will be able to pass on some valuable lessons when he meets the rest of the team who are now saying goodbye to New Zealand. Compared with other nations, our team is small. But our motto will be quality, not quantity. I am very pleased to tell everybody that our team is starting on this long journey as a happy party. I trust that happiness will carry us through. It's sailing time, and time to say goodbye and good luck to New Zealand's team for the 1948 Olympic Games.